Hello, Sizzle World. I am so pleased to come to you today via video. I know that it is an interesting time for sure. As many of you are working from home, like always, I thought it would be nice if we could visit your home virtually since we can't be there physically. First, I want to thank all of our frontline caregivers and first responders, our nurses, doctors, administrative staff, police, firemen and women, EMTs, those of you working tirelessly to keep us safe and healthy, treating our family and friends, it's an incredibly noble thing for each of you to do. I would also like to send our love and support for those of you that have had to deal with the pain and agony of this difficult time. So, we thought it may be nice to hear from a few of our corporate team members and allow them to share some thoughts and ideas as it relates to the times that we are currently in. If you have some ideas on what you would like to see, please send us suggestions on those topics that would be relevant during this time. So, let's get started and I hope you enjoy this series. Hi everybody, I'm sitting here with Milo Acosta, literally our North American Director of Sales, and I'm kind of excited to talk to you for a minute here because I'm thinking about some of the things that we've seen, monumental growth over the last right. number of months, and uh, what, what do you think what do you attribute that to? Well, what can I say? Uh, it's a little bit of everything, really. You know, the, the products are, are awesome. People have been talking to people every single time ever, ever since this happened with, uh, with this whole situation. People are getting in contact with, uh, with their groups. Uh, they're doing um, uh, meetings by mail. They're sending tons of literature out there, mm -hmm. keeping in, in contact, uh, three-way calls, conference calls, webinars. You know, the good thing is that we're still here helping, um, you know, these uh, different leadership uh, being uh, do, doing the meetings and helping them with, uh, with the corporate side of it. Well, and, and that is, it brings up a good point. I mean, you're used to being on the road right. literally 60 to 70 percent of the time, little town to little town, city to city, state to state. Now, all of a sudden, you're kind of working remotely with all of these people. Right. What are some of the tips and tricks that you can give some of our distributors and and the people that are looking for a way to understand better how to build their business in a time like this? Well, uh, there's a lot of uh, sales tools. We have the app. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you guys know about the app. There's this great, great sales tool that people are, are using to send out uh, product information pages, right. uh, the videos. Uh, I mean, you guys can do all sorts of things with the app. So people are using that, uh, like, I, like I was saying, just the conference calls, uh, utilizing the, the uh, people that are looking for, a, for an opportunity right now uh, Things uh, didn't. Uh, we were ready for this, to be honest with you. And people were super on, on our bubble with our jobs and everything. And all of a sudden, this happens, and they're looking for an extra income, and they, they want to make sure that they, they they have enough to feed their family. So they're looking for a, a company that that has great products and a great comp plan that they can uh, uh, they feel comfortable with working and uh, and doing this uh, as a as a part time until you know start uh, things start getting better. Well, and it's interesting, too, because I remember you were in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. Yeah. <laughs> you were out there doing meetings, but I think, if I remember correctly, you had at least another week that you would be yeah. on the road. And Milo calls up and he says, hey, things are happening right now. And it was a surprise attack. I mean, uh, as I remember, I was in Europe at the time when it really started to become a, a worldwide pandemic. So you called up and said, hey, I think i got to jump on a flight and get out of here and get home. Yeah. And uh, it was literally right in the nick of time where they started shutting down borders and, and states and going into a stay in place. Yeah, so it was. So we, we went to Ponsatani. I was with, uh, with Amanda and, and Katie Ann, and we went to our restaurant, and the, the, the waitress said, you know what, you guys are one of our last customers because we're going to be closing the restaurant tonight uh, because of a, a, a government uh, issue. So... I'm like, we, are, we were so focused on doing meetings for the whole previous week, and we had like four or five meetings left during that, that, uh, that week, and I'm like, okay, this, things are getting real. You know, I wasn't really sure because I was so focused on, on doing meetings, on supporting people, on supporting different teams that, that we just, uh, I kind of lost, you know, just, just a sense of time where we're going with being there. But the good thing is that, you know, people are still connected. They're still doing their thing. They're still you know, helping people get, you know, duplicate and, and spread, um, focusing on um, spreading the Maori mission with people. So, yes, it, it was a different situation for sure. 
Probably one that I don't think you or I have ever dealt with. No, I mean, never. There's been a couple of crises in our life, but nothing like this. So, never. well, Milo, thank you for being here. And and uh, again, folks, if you need Milo, if you need his help, if you need my help, but if you need our help in supporting your teams, jumping on calls, doing webinars, doing uh, you know helpful uh, meetings, if you will, from from a distance, we're here to help. So, Milo, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.